Oh, the Great Fairy Fountain, not to be confused with the Great Berry Fountain. Okay, shut up. I don't know why I said that. I have a Zelda blanket. Do you want to see it? I'll grab it for you. It's fine. It's fine. I'll show it to you. I don't mind. Okay, guys, here's my Zelda blanket. There it is. It's got Zelda. It's got Link. It's got the whole gang. Here's Hufflepuff. She says, guys, I don't know what Zelda is. Hi. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not going to do that again. I promise. All right. So this is the Great Fairy Fountain on guitar. In my humble opinion, if you play this in standard tuning, it is literally impossible to play on guitar the way that it's played in the game on the synthesized harp, you guys. But that being said, I think that I have found an excellent way to get as close as possible. There are a few places where we play exactly what's on the recording. Recording, it's a, like a MIDI sequence, right? And there are a few places where we cheat a little bit and I think it's gonna be great. People of the world, friends and relatives, standard tuning. Also, I should mention this is hard. Would you please put your pinky on the fifth fret of the bottom string? Please have your pointer finger smash down on the third fret of the second string from the bottom and the third string from the bottom. Ring finger is gonna play five on the third string from the top. I went way too long without swallowing. I had so much liquid in my mouth. It was all spit. There was nothing else in there. That's, that's weird, right? Why would I say that to the video? Hi. Hello, video. My name is Stuart. If you found this content helpful so far, yeah, right, that's impossible, um, then just consider liking and subscribing. Go to marinemusic.com, sign up for the newsletter. I'll send you so much information, including, not, I mean, not a lot. I only do once a week. Don't, I'm not like, okay. Look, guys, here's what I'm trying to say. Do you hear that? Do you hear the stuff outside? It's, I mean, it's good. It's good. I love noise outside. It's my favorite. If you sign up for the newsletter every week, I will send you a list of the tutorials that are coming out that week and you will know in advance. That's all I'm trying to say. Guys, pinky, fifth fret, bottom string, pointer finger, smashes down third fret, second and third from the bottom, ring finger, fifth fret on the third string from the top. Guys, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna play the bottom string. Here's the fingering I use, is every time I play the bottom string, I use my ring finger. Every time I play the second from the bottom, I use my middle finger. Every time I play the third from the bottom, I use my pointer finger. Every time I play third from the top, I use my thumb. And that's all there is to it, guys. I go like this. Ring, middle, point, oh shoot, darn. Diggity ding dang darn. Guys, I go ring, middle, pointer, thumb. I'm just going bottom, second to bottom, third from the bottom, third from the top. Binga bing bong. Just do that a couple times to get used to the picking. One, two, binga bing bong. Bingy bing bong. Bingy bing bong. Waka dooby haka looby. Great job. Okay, so we do that once. Binga booby. Then, no, I didn't say, no, I said binga booly is what I said. Then you get rid of your pinky, but your pointer finger now needs to be smashing down on the third fret of the bottom three strings. And you're gonna go binga loody. At this point in time, we're gonna completely switch. So, so far we've been doing pretty much what's on the recording. I know we've only played like eight notes, but it's bumba doo doo, bapa doo doo. Then we need to completely switch what's happening and we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna go up to seven on the second from the bottom and the third from the bottom. Smash those down and then with your middle finger play eight on the third string from the top. And we're gonna go like this. Second from the bottom, third from the bottom, third from the top, and then back to third from the bottom. So that was binga boogie. Guys, when I say we have to cheat a little bit, we're cheating right here in the actual recording the game, whatever. It's not a, you know what I mean. It goes ba, 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 and then I think, I don't know, there's some lower note. I don't remember what it is, but we just cannot reach it in any reasonable way. So instead of going bang, bong, bong, lower note, we're going back to that middle note. It works almost as well. It's gonna be fine. We go boom, 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 boom. Then put your ring finger on the eighth fret of the second string from the bottom and do the same picking. Bang, gee, bing, bong. Guys, we've done the first four little chords. It goes like this. We started back on five, three, three, five. We go bing, ga, bing, bong. Bing, ga, bing, bong. Bing, 
Bingo, bing, bong, bingo, bing, bong. How we doing, guys? Now, let's go to the next ch chunk, okay? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chunks total. We have completed the first one, but the rest of them are going to fly by. Pinky, third fret, bottom string, pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom, middle finger, second fret, third from the bottom, ring finger, third fret, third string from the top. Guys, we're just going to go bottom string, second to bottom, third from bottom, fourth to bottom. We're going to do that four times in a row with just one little thing changing over here each time. Check it out. So you've got all four fingers down. You go finger booly. Then get rid of your pinky, have your pointer finger smash down on the bottom two and go finger booly. Then have your pointer finger pivot up. So now you're still pushing on the second string from the bottom, but you want the bottom string to be open and you go finger looly. Then have your pointer finger smash back down onto the bottom two strings and go binga looly. So that was hup a do. Sorry, I'll stop. How we feeling, guys? We are one quarter of the way done with the song. Let's take it from the beginning, nice and slow. One, two, here we go. And holy mackerel, look at all the notes that we are playing. I have a terrible feeling that a lot of people who are not used to watching my videos are going to find this one and they're going to be like, oh my God, this guy is annoying. You've got to be kidding me. So, uh, just, I'm just trying to emotionally prepare myself for that. Then what's going to happen is we're going to play six on the second string from the bottom with the pinky, three on the third string from the bottom with the pointer finger, and then five on the third string from the top with your ring finger. Now, here's the thing. If your thumb is creeping up over the top, it's going to be a little tough to spread those out like that. If we bring your thumb back like this, your fingers are magically going to get more comfortable. You're going to go like this. We're going to play second from the bottom, third from the bottom, third from the top, back to third from the bottom. So that was finga booly. Then your pinky slides over to the fifth fret. Do the same picking. Then get rid of your pinky. Put your middle finger on four of the second string from the bottom to the same picking and then put your pinky back on five so that was here slide it over fourth fret back to fifth fret guys all right let's go a little further let's go a little further and then we'll and then we'll practice a little bit keep your pinky on that fifth fret but put your pointer finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the third string from the top. All right, we're gonna do the same exact picking over here. Then get rid of your pinky. Put your ring finger on three of the second string from the bottom. Same exact picking. Then get rid of your ring finger, but have your pointer finger smash down on the second fret of you. I would just smash down on the bottom three strings. That's probably the easiest way to do it. We don't really care about the bottom one, but who cares? Just smash down on the bottom three. Keep your middle finger on the third fret of the third string from the top. And we do the same exact picking. Then all you have to do is put your ring finger right back on the three of the second string from the bottom. So that little chunk right there was three, four, bing, ge, bing, bong, three, two, three, two, 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 three, two, three, two, three, two. We're halfway through. We're halfway through. Let's go ahead and play that whole first half, first four chunks all the way through. One, two, chunk it up, and five, three, three, five, three, three. Five, seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, then six, three, five, three, five, three, five, three, four, three, 
five, three, five. Oh, shoot, darn, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Five, three, five, three, five, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, 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 three, two, three, two, three, two. All right, how are we feeling about the fairies today? I have played through the original Legend of Zelda. I have played through the Super Nintendo A Link to the Past. That's not true. I tried to, but it was too hard, so I gave up. I have played through Wind Waker. Wind Waker was actually my favorite, guys. It might be controversial. I don't know. Do people like Wind Waker? And um, I think that's all I've really that's all I've really played. I've not played Breath of the Wild. I don't have a Wii. Or what is it on? I don't know. It's not on a Wii. It's on a... It's a, like a... Like a Pluto. What's it called? Um, the Gidget. Um, guys, in the comments, what's the what's the Nintendo thing that people play? A stretch. That's not it either. I give up. Before we learn the second half, I have two little tips for you guys. One is since we're playing each of these crazy chords like one note at a time, you don't have to get the whole chord at once. As long as you get the first note you need to play for each chord, you can get the rest of the chord formed as you go. For example, when I go to the second hunk of the song, I get my pinky on the third fret of the bottom string, the rest of my fingers kind of show up as I'm playing the chord. Like watch, watch from the beginning, I go. Now watch this. You see that? So that just buys you a little bit of time. Here's my other tip. For this song, I think that you do not need to keep the tempo exactly consistent. You can kind of slow down and speed up at parts. You want to smooth it out as much as possible, but if there's a chord switch that's really tough for you, I personally think it's okay to kind of slow down going into that chord change and then speed up when you get to it. That's not the case for most songs, but for this one, you can do it. Watch, if I'm going like... I'm exaggerating it a little to make a point, guys. Come on. All right. Second half of the song. Second half of the song starts exactly like the first part. The first chunk is exactly the same. So you're on five on the bottom, then three, three, and five, and you do the whole. And then you go up to here. Exactly the same. And then for the next chunk, everything changes. Play six on the bottom with your pinky, four on the second from the bottom with your pointer finger, and play four five on the third string from the bottom with your middle finger, you're gonna go bottom, second from the bottom, third from the bottom, back to second from the bottom. Then get rid of your pinky, put your ring finger on five of the bottom string, do the same picking. Then get rid of your ring finger, have your pointer finger smash down onto four of the bottom two, do the same picking. And then put your ring finger right back onto five of the bottom. Okay, now things start getting crazy. We're approaching the ending of the song. You're gonna put your ring finger on eight of the bottom string, pointer finger on seven of the third string from the bottom. So we're skipping the second string from the bottom. Then put your middle finger on eight of the third string from the top. You're gonna play bottom string, third from the bottom, third from the top, then back to third from the bottom. So that was eight, seven, eight, seven. Then, let go of your ring finger and pivot your hand so you can stretch your pinky up to 11 on the second string from the bottom. Once again, if your thumb is up over the top, it's not going to happen. Also, if your fingers are at this angle, it's going to be really tough. So I'm like this for the first chord of that chunk, the 8, 7, 8 part. But then when I switch, I pivot over. You see that? So I'm going 8, 7, 8, 7, pivot. And then I go 11 on the second from the bottom. Then I play third from the bottom, third from the top, back to third from the bottom. Then I just move my pinky over to 10 on the second string from the bottom. I do the exact same picking. And then I go right back to 11. So that chunk there was seven. No, 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 no. It's eight. I'm testing you. Good. You're paying attention. You go eight, seven, 
eight seven pivot eleven seven eight seven ten seven eight seven back to eleven seven eight seven people of the world friends and relatives we are on the final chunk pinky fifth fret bottom string pointer finger third fret third string from the bottom we're skipping that second string from the bottom again ring finger on five of the third string from the top play the bottom string play the third from the bottom and then play the third from the top so bingy bow then go right back to the third from the bottom so it's five three five three then get rid of your pinky have your pointer finger mash down onto three of the bottom three strings play the bottom third from the bottom third from the top back to third from the bottom so the same picking we just did then you get to relax your pointer finger a little bit you don't need to bar you just want to make sure your pointer finger is pushing on three of the third string from the bottom your ring finger is going to stay on five of the third from the top your pinky goes to six on the second string from the bottom you're going to play second from the bottom third from the bottom third from the top back to third from the bottom so we just went then bar then six and then you guys you get to release your fingers you play the bottom string open then you play eight on the third string from the top then you play zero on the third string from the bottom and then you play seven on the second string from the top so that was bing gi bing bong guess what happens after that if you said i don't know that's fine what you do is you start the whole thing over again that's a, that's the problem with this song is it doesn't have an ending it just keeps going forever as long as you stay in the fairy fountain area it just keeps playing over and over and over and over again and you get to choose when the song ends guys choose your own adventure okay that last whole part was pretty bad right let's play the last chunk let's play the part that goes do you know where that is you're like no i don't okay great fantastic play it with me one two very slowly five three five three then bar three five three then six three five three then bottom eight on the third from the top open third from the bottom seven on the second from the top right back to the beginning of the entire song guys let's play the second half all the way through are you ready great one two extremely slowly binky bing bong then third fret then seven then then to six, four, five, five, four, five, and bar on four, back to five, then you go to eight, seven, eight, then pivot up to 11, then to 10, back to 11, big finish, five, three, five, three, 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 five, three, six, three, five, three, open seven, zero, seven. Shoot, I'm sorry. I said open seven. I meant open eight. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Open eight, open seven. Okay. I'm going to give you just a moment to collect your thoughts. Have your thoughts been collected? Great. Let's play the entire thing all the way through. Very, very slowly, painfully slowly, miserably, horribly slowly. One, two, three, four, and bing. Yeah, no, we're doing it this slow. Look, we just gotta do it slow, okay? And bing, bang, don't. Okay, this was, this may have been too slow. This is ridiculous only to the second chunk no it's good it gives you a chance to really make sure you know what you're doing then one then zero okay if i'm being perfectly honest 
When I counted it off, I didn't realize it was going to be this slow. Oh my, you've got to be kidding me. Six, three, five, three, five, three. Oh my God, we're not even halfway through. Then five, two, three, two. Okay, so we're just about halfway through. So what that's telling me is that this is going to end at some point. We are halfway through. Back to five, three, three, five, then three, 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 five, then seven, seven, eight, seven, then eight. Okay, here we go. Then six, four. But something really exciting when we're done with this. Stick around, because you're not going to want to miss what happens at the end. Then up to 11. Guys, we're in the last chunk. Can you handle it? Here we go. And a bing. Beginning. We're not actually going to play it all the way through. I just wanted to show you what it feels like to start it over. So that really exciting thing I said is I'm going to see how fast I can play it. All the way through, as fast as I can. Do you think I can do like blingy, 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 one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a... Oh, move! Ah. Ah. 